G'day, I'm Simon Masaryk from MineLab, here with Ali from our Dubai office. We're excited to introduce our new Universal Gold Detector, the Gold Monster 1000. This entry-level VLF detector will turn beginners into experts in no time. It includes a choice of coils, batteries, shaft, and supplied headphones. We've had Jonathan and other field testers carrying out extensive testing for the MineLab engineering team. The Gold Monster 1000 has already proven itself to outperform all other high-frequency competitors in mineralised ground conditions. This detector has been designed as a modular adaptable system with several assembled configurations. We'll now take you through the six assembly steps in the Getting Started Guide. First, screw the middle shaft and lower shaft together. Make sure you do them up tightly. Then, screw the upper shaft and middle shaft together in the same way. You can use either the GM10 coil for greater ground coverage and depth, or the GM5 for tight spaces. Before you attach the coil, check that the two washers are in the yoke. Then, use a plastic bolt to attach the assembled shaft to the coil. Using two of the shaft clamps, attach the control box to the upper shaft. Make sure you line up the notches on the clamps and the control box. Ensure the clamps are tight enough so that the control box does not rotate on the shaft. Now use the remaining two clamps and bolts to attach the armrest. Position the armrest just below your elbow and then tighten. Check that the coil, control box and armrest are aligned and positioned correctly. Adjust if needed, then do the bolts up tightly. Wrap the coil cable around the shaft. If you do not do this, a loose cable may cause noise and false detections. Connect the coil cable to the control box and tighten the connector. The Gold Monster 1000 comes with two battery options, the rechargeable lithium-ion battery and a carrier which holds eight AA batteries. The lithium-ion battery can be charged using the supplied AC plug pack or a 12 volt DC vehicle adapter cable. Insert the battery into the battery compartment with the MineLab logo facing outwards. Lock the battery cover into place. If you prefer to use headphones while detecting, then connect the headphones to the control box. The Gold Monster 1000 is fully automatic, so you can just turn on and go detecting, with no complicated controls or ground balancing procedures to learn. You'll then be spending more time finding gold and less time adjusting settings. There's just three quick steps to carry out. Press the power button. Hold the coil in the air for about 10 seconds. Place the coil on the ground and begin detecting. The Gold Monster 1000 has some additional controls that will help increase your chances of success. The Detect mode has two search options for optimum efficiency. When you first start up the detector, Gold mode is selected. This mode rejects signals from iron objects, allowing you to just dig the gold. You also have the option of changing to deep or metal by pressing the Detect mode button. This mode detects gold deeper, but it also detects iron trash. The gold chance indicator shows you how likely it is that a detected target is gold. You can manually adjust the sensitivity of the detector to suit the ground and your swing speed. You can increase the sensitivity to maximise depth or 
decrease the sensitivity to minimise noise. The volume level can be adjusted up or down to suit your hearing. So if you're looking for the best performance to get started gold detecting, this is the detector you've been waiting for. The Gold Monster 1000 is super sensitive to small gold nuggets. A 